This video, it's um, a Honda 500. It's in a Foreman 2012 model ATV, but it's off this engine is in other things like UTVs. But anyways, I wanna show you how to time the engine. Um, first of all, here on the camshaft, you have this pin right here. This hole has to, has to line up with this arrow right here in the case. So that has to line up when we're at top dead center on the compression stroke. Also, I have the side cover off, but you can see the timing mark on the flywheel where it says T in a line and below it, it says F in a line. Well, I put a mark right here on the case where they're supposed to line up because I had the case off right now. So I'm gonna show you how we know that we're on top dead center on the compression stroke. So we're gonna rotate the engine and we're gonna watch these right here. This is the intake and this is for the exhaust. So we're gonna rotate the engine. We're at top dead center because we can see the pistons up there. So we're gonna rotate counterclockwise. Now you'll see this rod's raising. This is opening the exhaust port. So that just completed exhausting the fuel. And you'll notice this is not lined up. So now the piston's going back down. Now we notice the intake is raising. That means we're sucking in the fuel in the air. Now as the piston rises, that is the compression stroke. The valve, both valves are closed. We get it up the top dead center. And we notice that this pin, hole, and arrow are all lined up perfectly. Earlier, when I first put, put the engine together, I was one tooth off and it was, you know, like on a clock, it was like 30 minutes off or one hour off. But now we know we got it exact. And if we go over here to the timing mark, the timing mark lines up with the T. And we want to go ahead and rotate it again just to verify. So we're at the compression stroke or at the point where it would spark. And now it's going to push the piston down and we're going to watch the exhaust valve open. So it would have pushed the piston down. The exhaust valve is starting to open. And as the piston comes up, it's gonna push the exhaust out. And now the exhaust valve closed. Now the intake valve is starting to open. So it's sucking in air and fuel. Now as the piston rises, we're on the compression stroke. And both of these are level again, closed. And we're going to verify, verify this is lined up. And over here, the T and the line is lined up with the line I marked. Um, you would, if the case was on here, you'd have the, the hole here. You could open the hole and look in there and see that, but so that's how to tell that we're on the compression stroke, top dead center, and the engine is in time. Very important because I made a dumb mistake where I rushed it and um, I was a tooth off and just turning the engine over, um, it wouldn't start, but I um, bent a valve and messed up the valve guide by having the timing off. So you got, timing is very critical. Besides not running, you can damage the engine.
So I hope this helps. And this is for the 2012 Honda TRX 500 four wheeler. Um, this one's electric shift. They also have a manual shift and many other uh, models. I believe the Pioneer 500 has the same engine or very similar. And this will be the similar on most four stroke engines of how to know whether you're at top dead center on the compression stroke.